All right, you guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. Of course, we have to get into some things when it comes to Simon Guabadia responding to y'all's favorite talk show host, Miss Wendy Williams. Now, you guys, a couple of days ago, Wendy Williams took to her platform to discuss Simon and Portia's engagement. Okay, you guys know that that's all anybody has been talking about for the past month or so at this point. And y'all, Wendy was being extra, extra shady, okay? She called one of Simon's homes that he owns outside of the country a hut. Y'all, check this clip out. And then we're going to have another wedding um, at one of, you know, the houses that are out of the country. No, don't be impressed. One of the houses out of the country. Let me tell you something right now. But you know how land is cheap and houses are cheap and you can say you have a house but really it's a trailer on one property a straw hut in another and a little something with a shared pool by the community in another so you guys heard wendy being extra shady wendy said that one of simon's houses out of the country could be a hut which i feel like has a racist undertone to it because wendy why gotta be a hut okay is it because simon is african like I didn't like that choice of words, okay? But whatever, I digress. Wendy only said that he could own a hut after Portia went on to Dish Nation and explained that she would get married at one of these homes outside of the country as a part of their three-ceremony wedding, right? And so, you guys, after that, okay, as of yesterday, Mr. Simon Guabadia, being very petty, being very shady, took to Instagram and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his story because, honey, I just can't, okay? Simon posted this video of this home, right? And I have no idea where Simon and Portia are. Um, I thought that they were in Africa. They might be in South America. I have no idea if this is his home or not or if it's a rental, an Airbnb. I don't know. But Simon in his caption says, hut living. And then he goes on to say, how you doing, Portia? Okay. And so that's Simon's way of trying to hit back at Miss Wendy Williams, okay? He said, you ain't going to be talking about me and expect me not to say nothing back, okay? We can just call Simon the new Patricia. And so not only did he respond to the hut comment, but he ended up using Wendy's own catchphrase, how you doing, which is homophobic, might I add, okay? But I digress. And then, um, you know, says, how you doing, Portia? So, I don't know, y'all, okay? I just thought that that was really interesting. I told you guys that I was going to keep you updated on all of the twists and turns when it comes to the Simon and Portia saga, okay? You guys know that they are, you know, filming their spinoff. Where Housewives of Atlanta does begin filming in a couple of weeks. And um, this whole thing is just going to get interesting, okay? Especially with Simon being the new Peter Thomas. We are going to get some really, really good moments when it comes to season 14 of Roa, okay? So stay tuned. Now, you guys, before we get on out of here, I did want to mention Miss Evelyn Lazada. She is officially leaving Basketball Wives, okay? Hallelujah. <laughs> She's gone, okay? She's leaving. Now, I will definitely link this article from eonline.com in the links down below um, and the interview because Evelyn did end up doing an interview with Justin Sylvester of E! News. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and read this because it's very interesting. They say Basketball Wives OG cast member Evelyn Lazada officially announced her exit from the hit VH1 reality series during an exclusive interview with E! News Daily Pop on June 2nd. She said, I am no longer going to do Basketball Wives. And I think it's time for me to open up the universe to other things. E! News goes on to say that while Lazada admitted that it was a hard decision to walk away after nine seasons... In the end, it came down to the heavy toll she felt during the series. She says, it's not the most positive energy, citing a difficult last few seasons. She says, now I have a conscience about what I say and what I do and what my kids are going to see. Now, Evelyn, I'm proud that you have finally come to your senses. However, I call BS. Girl, you have been on this show for 10 plus years, okay? Well, I guess nine years. Nine seasons, nine years, okay? And now you're worried about what your children are going to see. I kind of feel like it's too late for that, okay? I kind of feel like it's too late because you've been walking over tables, 
okay? Throwing tables, throwing champagne bottles, hitting folks, grabbing your P-U-S-S-Y, okay? Grabbing bushes, running after a CC and them, trying to beat people ass, right? Being an alleged colorist, okay? It is what it is and it's going to be what it's going to be. I'm not going to go down that road, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You have had so many unbecoming moments on this television series and all of a sudden you're worried about what your children are going to see once they, uh, you know, watch the show. And don't get me wrong, it's never too late to grow and evolve as a person. However, it's kind of past due on, oh my God, what are my children going to think? Because what you've done has been documented, okay? It's been filmed, it's been broadcasted, it's been distributed. And we can go on streaming services and watch it over and over and over and over again. And this interview also uh, with Justin on uh, E! News or what have you, she also gave us a lot of insight to Basketball Wives and how it was kind of, you know, fake. She says, as an OG of the show, right, this is my job. I've been doing it for a long time. And I know when the producers are not satisfied with the footage or the storylines. And so she says something to the effect of, When the storylines aren't really giving what they're supposed to give, which basically means when there's not enough shocking moments or big moments or drama, um, she plays everything up for the cameras. Now, that kind of contradicts everything Evelyn said about quitting the show. Okay, stay with me. Because Evelyn has revved up so much drama between herself and the ladies, I just kind of find it silly of her to cite that, you know, she's leaving because the show isn't really a positive experience when Evelyn herself basically admitted that she makes the experience not positive. Y'all get where I'm going with this. Okay, y'all get where I'm going. And so I'm not really sad to see Evelyn go. And quiet as it's kept, the show has been on a downward spiral for about seven years now. So I feel like it's time to let the whole thing go. So let me know what you guys think about the situation. Um, You know, I really don't have any feelings. I've never been an Evelyn fan. And so it is what it is. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye.